Dear students, today we are going to study biological classification. Very important part in biology, biological classification. What is the meaning of biological classification? All the plants, animals and microorganisms present on the surface of earth, how are they classified? The concept belong to that is called as biological classification. We know that all the organisms, whatever it may be, plant, animal or microorganisms, they are categorized into kingdoms. They are categorized into kingdoms. How many kingdoms? Totally five kingdoms. Five kingdoms. And this five kingdom system of classification was proposed by R.H. R.H. Whittaker. R.H. Whittaker proposed five kingdom system of classification. Then which are those five kingdoms? Let us see. Those five kingdoms are first one Monera, second one Protista, third one Mycota. Mycota, it is also called as fungi. And fourth one, plantae. And fifth one, animalia. These are the five kingdoms. I repeat, Monera, Protista, Mycota, Plantae, Animalia. Out of this five, in the previous class, we studied that organisms are categorized as prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are the organism with the least developed nucleus and eukaryotes are the organism with the true nucleus. Now, out of this five, only Monera, only Monera is prokaryote, remember. Only Monera is prokaryote. Remaining four, Protista, Mycota, Plantae, Animalia. Remaining four are eukaryotes. This we have to remember. These four are eukaryotes. Why these four are eukaryotes? In them, the cell contains true nucleus. True nucleus means cell, sorry, nucleus is covered by nuclear membrane. That is well organized nucleus. Whereas Monera is very primitive type that is prokaryotes. Now, first of all, I'll give one or two examples for each so that you will get clear cut idea of each kingdom. Monera. The best example for Monera is bacteria. I'll give one example in the beginning. Bacteria. All the bacteria come under kingdom Monera. Protista. For Protista, I can give example of Amoeba. Amoeba comes under Protista. For Mycota, Fungi, Mushroom. We know that mushroom. Mushrooms are example for Mycota. Plantae, I need not tell number of example, coconut, paddy, wheat, hibiscus, rose. So all the plants, all the plants come under plantae. Animalia, all the animals, all the animals, maybe cockroach, earthworm, human being, tiger, rat, cat, donkey, horse, sheep, goat, okay, all the animals. So animals are included under animalia, plants are included under plantae, mushroom and other organisms are included under mycota, amoeba is example for protista and bacteria are example for monera. So I have given one example for each of the kingdoms so that you will get some idea. Now what I will do, 
in detail okay i'll give few properties of this kingdom so first of all we will start with the monera first of all we will start with the monera kingdom monera kingdom monera as i gave example of bacteria one more example we can give that is blue green algae blue green algae blue green algae are also called as cyanobacteria blue green algae are also called as cyanobacteria cyanobacteria means blue green algae and bacteria these two are common example for monera now coming to their property the property of bacteria itself is property of monera again this bacteria they can classified as rk bacteria rk bacteria and u bacteria and u bacteria rk bacteria and u bacteria u bacteria are the true bacteria whereas rk bacteria are the special type of bacteria which live in very harsh condition which live in very harsh condition rk bacteria they live in very harsh condition rk bacteria live in very harsh condition where no other organisms can live and based on that some of the example one set is thermoacidophiles thermoacidophiles in biology philes philes means it has um, what you called uh, it loves like this it has tend towards that then second one thermoacidophiles methanogens methanogens and third one halophiles halophiles first of all thermoacidophile thermo refers to heat or the temperature acido means acid phile means loving these bacteria are found at very high temperature in hot spring where the temperature is more than 100 degrees celsius even in the acidic condition also these bacteria are found no other organism can live there but they can live that's why they are called as thermoacidophiles methanogens again the name itself tells methanogens means they are methane producing ch4 is methane methane producing bacteria methane is biogas they are present in the gut of cow buffalo etc so when cow buffalo they just throw their waste material you call cow dung or whatever it is it contains rich amount of methanogens in it that's why cow dung is used in the production of biogas these bacteria they help in the production of biogas called as methane they are also called as bacteria which live in marshy area okay in the marshy area these methanogens are present then halophiles 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 means the bacteria which are present in salty area in salt condition so those are halophiles these type of bacteria which live in very harsh condition like in very uh, what do you call it high temperature in acidic condition in marshy area and in the uh, saline condition these kind of bacteria come under rk bacteria whereas the other bacteria are called as true bacteria in case of true bacteria as we know or you call u bacteria they have their own property like bacteria property of bacteria they are very small single celled very minute we cannot see them directly with the help of our naked eyes they are found under microscope they reproduce generally by asexual method where one bacteria split into two we call it as a binary fission whereas they show little or very uh, primitive way of sexual reproduction where they share or they exchange their genetic material 